AMD launched the Radeon RX 6600 XT at China Joy. So, I mean, Luke, at this point, what can we really say about GPU launches? Um, that they're paper launches, that they're somewhat predictable. Anything else? Um, okay. Yeah, I guess that's pretty good. Good job, Luke. Hey. I think the biggest, the biggest elephant in the room right now is that GPU pricing, it might get better, but I don't think it is for the foreseeable future or maybe ever going back to normal, like what we used to have. Um, some of the, some of the price increases that are affecting GPUs are ones that the, the, the GPU industry actually doesn't have any control over. Uh, DRAM is up 50% since 2021 began. Uh, Copper's doubled. Aluminum is up 45%. Uh, plastics are up 47%. The actual costs of building these things are higher. Um, Anthony's got a point in here. He says, some say that this is hyperinflation from stimulus packages. Um, not an economist, says Anthony, but unlikely. Building materials are being speculated and not all prices are rising. For example, gold and silver equals confirmation bias. Now, inflation is currently as high as it was during the 2008 financial crisis. So it's greater than 5% for two months in a row. A year ago, it was less than 1%. Uh, of course, it's worth noting that both AMD and NVIDIA have reported double their revenue in the gaming segment over the last year. So, you know, make of all of this what you will. Um, Many of our comments seem to default to this angle that AMD and Nvidia are plenty profitable, so you know everything is fine. And now that you know they've seen that there's demand at this price point, it'll stick around. But I mean, poor sales for the RTX 20 series cards and the 1060 staying top dog on Steam despite two generations of two companies trying to dislodge it. it it's probably not all. A corporate conspiracy there might actually just have been some pent-up demand from people not upgrading to 20 series and then now being stuck inside a lot and being just desperate to game we're also seeing a big crash i mean we're seeing it everywhere from um views across uh like tech channels it's not just us it's something that yeah. we track industry-wide people are just a little less interested, you know, engagement with tweets. Um, people are just sentiment. You know, we see a lot of people who are just really frustrated and, and tired of this passion that they have, this uh, this hobby that they love so much, becoming something that is either they have to spend all day to try to get their hands on the hardware to enjoy it, or they just outright cannot afford. There's There's a lot of anger. And that cooling... That cooling is happening, and it's happening while demand for these products has not completely fallen off yet. So what I think is that the prices remaining high is almost like a, like a false positive sign that the gaming industry is, is okay for, well, for, from NVIDIA and AMD's perspective. I think what's going to happen is they are going to encounter a lull in demand right around the time they catch up with supply, and it's going to be a bit of a crash. Now, a crash isn't going to look like $30 GPUs. Don't kid yourself. It will just look like NVIDIA reporting a quarter where they have higher yeah. inventory than forecasted and their stock might take a dip or whatever the case may be. Uh, we also have to consider that cryptocurrency prices are a huge um, unknown unknown factor in all of this. I mean, Bitcoin's been tracking back up again since about the beginning of, I think about a third of the way through last month, it's gone from around 30,000 USD to 40,000 USD. So apparently China's crackdown and rumored upcoming ban are not enough to take down the almighty Bitcoin. And I, I'm, I'm kidding. I don't mean that I think a Bitcoin is almighty. It's just uh, a play on the almighty dollar. That's all. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's down today, but it's up over the last five days from around 37,000 and a half to around 41,700. So uh, to be clear, I am not a financial advisor and I am not recommending in any way that you that you jump on that train. I personally own zero bitcoins, no bitcoins for me. <sighs> We're hoping 
that the RX 6600 XT is going to help to address these problems. It does have a roughly 50% smaller die area than AMD's previous cards, so that should mean better yields, and therefore not just more GPUs per wafer, but also more -er GPUs per wafer, because when you've got a smaller die size, you already get more, and when you have a smaller die size, you also get fewer defects, because when you have a defect in the wafer, the chance, like the amount of silicone that it is likely to ruin will be smaller because if it's right smack dab in the middle of a, a small die, then you just lose that one small die. If it's right smack dab in the middle of a big die, you lose that whole big die, if you guys kind of catch what I mean. It also uses 16 gigabit DRAM chips, which is different than what NVIDIA is using for their lineup. Um, so that's a kind of separate allocation, separate production stream. So that might help but don't hold your breath. I was really hoping that that was the end about a month ago when the when China's crackdown happened and when mining cards were starting to make their way into the used market. I was really, I, I mean, I remember saying on the WAN show, here's what's going to happen, guys. Those, those used cards are going to eventually saturate the demand in China and they're going to start leaking out on sites yeah. like eBay or AliExpress and... That clearly hasn't happened. So that that decline that we saw in prices has somewhat stalled. And going on Newegg right now, um, you know, a, a 6700 XT, you can find them in stock. They're still, they're $900 brand new. And searching for 6600 XT brought up quite literally nothing. So, yeah... I mean, at least not at the top of the... Oh, okay, there's three three references to it on the page. Oh, this is hilarious. I'm going to share my display with you guys. Here's the three references to 6600 XT on this page. There's my search, the search results, and the other more different search results all up here in the top left corner. So we found, we found a whole lot of... We found a whole lot of nothing. A whole lot of nothing here, ladies and gentlemen. Sorry about that.